reality shows, but there are so many that it's hard to keep up. So here to break it all down for us is our resident pop culture expert, Norman Baker. <laughs> hey! hey. 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 Okay, so Norman, let's get into it because yeah. there's so much drama between legendary R&B groups SWV uh -huh. and Escape uh -huh. on, their, on their new reality show. So much drama! <laughs> What's um, happening? So, yeah, SWV and Escape, two legendary R&B groups that we all love. Yes. They're going on tour together and they are filming it for their reality show. But last Sunday, they butted heads over who would headline. Oh. Let's take a look. Like our group, we still feel like we want to still have top billing on our tour. What the hell is this? On your tour? On and your tour? And any tours that we're on. Do you know who you're talking to? This is SWV. We've sold how many records compared to your seven million? Girl, bye. SWV has major hits. But do they have the fan base or the following that we have? No. People watch me, Candy, on TV doing our thing. Then they find out, oh, these girls sing. So that fan base is millions and millions and millions of followers more. Wow. Oh. Uh. Now that's a big one, Norman. Fan base versus, you know, record. So whose side are you on? It's true. You know what? I got weak in the knees just watching this clip. <laughs> <laughs> No, I feel like maybe this is something their agents should have worked out before, before like in an email. Yeah, yeah, not in a, like, they hash it out in a room that looks like a rehab meeting. Okay. I mean, look at it. It's <laughs> a mess. Look at them. I know, uh, look at yeah. them. It does but, look like an intervention, yeah, doesn't it? Yeah, I, I think they have valid points, right? Yes. Like, SWV, they have sold more records. Right. However, Escape, they have Tiny and Candy, and they're, like, reality famous now. They're, like, right. huge. Right, they're stars of reality. So they are going to sell more tickets. Right. But it's, like, really clear to me that I think they should just co-headline. Now, that would be good if they co-headline. Yeah. And then when you co-headline, you can make up agreements of who will go first this week, who will go... And you can, that's a good way to do right. it. Right, yeah. Coco, you come out and, you know, right here and all that. <laughs> and then Candy and Tiny, you come out. And the other, yeah, you come <laughs> out. Oh, and my God, that was so much shade. That I'm was sorry. so much shade, Norman. <laughs> and that's Latasha. Latasha that's Latasha uh -huh. and Tamika. That's right. Yes, we right. love everybody. <laughs> <laughs> okay, wait, we gotta keep going. Okay. So there's a new show about women who have multiple husbands. Mm -hmm. What's this one? Yes, uh, it's a show. <laughs> It's What's on TLC. It, <laughs> TLC is the learning channel. Okay. And we'll we are learning. learning a lot about this. Okay. Uh, it's called Seeking Brother Husband. It's about women who have more than one husband at the same time. Really? Let's take a look. <laughs> Two husbands? Two husbands. Norman, how do you feel about this show? I mean, first of all, I don't know where they found all these black people to be in this show. Oh, yeah. I'm like... <laughs> Parks didn't go to jail for this. Okay. <laughs> All right. We but, yeah, why in the world would a woman want to have, like, two husbands in the same house? You know how much other? work that is? Yeah. Two husbands? She's never going to get that toilet seat down ever again. <laughs> <laughs> it's not even that. You got... It's two men you got to cater to. Uh -huh. It's this, First of all, you got two mama-in-laws you uh -huh. got to deal with. Right. You got two sets of families. Yeah. Oh, my God. You got to deal... If, if one of them, you don't get sick, you got two babies to deal uh -huh. with. I mean, and I didn't even get to the bedroom. Uh -huh. that, okay. <laughs> That's a lot to handle. That's Two a men. Lot. Upstairs, downstairs. Upstairs, downstairs. Norman, you're so bad. You're so bad, Norman. I just couldn't do it. I couldn't even have. Look, I couldn't even have two ex-husbands, and I'm still reeling from that. Okay. Right. Too right, much right. for me, but I think I'm gonna watch it. Last. Yes. There is a new dating show called Queen's Court with uh -huh. Tamar Braxton, Evelyn Lozada, and Nivea. Uh -huh. Tell us about that. Okay, Queen's Court. It's on Peacock. It's actually produced by Will Packer, our friend. Okay. Uh, it, the host is Holly Robinson Pete and Rodney Pete, and they've been mm. married forever, so yes. they know a thing or two about relationships. Yes. Uh, but we got Tamar, Evelyn, and uh, Lil Wayne's baby mama, Nivea. Nivea. Uh huh. And uh, they're looking for love among 21 different. Yeah, Norm be throwing shade. Y'all got it. Norm be throwing in the shade. We didn't. That is from Wikipedia. That is <laughs> Lil Wayne's baby mama Nivia. Um, and so what else? <laughs> um, but yeah, they're looking for love. And uh, on the last episode or one of the episodes, Tamar, uh, she actually, spoiler alert, got engaged to one of the guys. Oh. Uh huh. But, uh, yeah, he's got, like, a couple red flags, and we saw that when the ladies first met him. Let's take a look. Okay. I am JR. Yes, okay. ma'am. And yours. 
I'll tell you later. You'll tell me later? <laughs> well, I like that. I only dated one person who was not in the entertainment business, but don't want to date an athlete, don't want to date a rapper. I like executives. Where are you Minicum. from? I'm from New Orleans originally. Oh, you're from New Orleans? Yes, ma'am. You have children? I do. I'm 45. Divorced father, five. Wow. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. Are it's, the kids yeah. all from your wife? No. So how many baby mamas? I have four. That's a red flag for me. Isn't it beautiful to see their individual personality? And chances are you have baby mama drama, and I don't want to deal with that. So, Norman, should, I, I think, should Tamar be cautious of her new fiance? I mean, I mean, he's got five babies with four baby mamas. Was Nick Cannon not available? <laughs> So bad, Norman. You are so bad. No. But that is a big red flag. Yeah. Because normally, if you have all of those babies and the baby mamas, it will be drama. Somebody's gonna confront you. Uh huh. Somebody has already. One of the baby mamas came out and like was talking crap about Tamar already. Already. And now yeah. she, she got three more to go. Uh, three more to go. Oh I my god. This is a mess. Miss Cleo could have predicted that was gonna happen. Okay, Norman. <laughs> you see what happens when you let Norman out the I control know. room? He just said, lost it. Norman, I love it when you come out of oh, the control I love, room. I love it being here. <laughs> now you gonna get us in trouble. You I gotta know. get back to work, uh -huh. Norman.